People in the printing business, what is the weirdest stuff you have printed? We have a print shop at my school, and one time there was this girl who wanted to print a life-sized full body nude as an anniversary present for her boyfriend. About 30 people witnessed how she rolled out of the printer. Edit. Art school. I used to work at a Staples when I was a teen. This fairly attractive woman in her late 40s dropped off an order for a few 8 asterisk 10 quote s and said she would be back to pick it up later. The photos were of her naked on the beach in the sand dunes and lounging on a rocky cliff. When she returned she had her young son with her maybe 15 so I passed her order face down on the counter to be discreet. She picked up the order and started asking her son's opinion of the photos. My best friend worked at a small t-shirt printing shop where one of the biggest customers was my local high school alma mater. Our mascot was the Sandstoner, a miner of Sandstone, because our town was built on this business, but we always used stoners for short. The cross country team once made an order for some shirts with a message on the back, Stoners, we smoke the competition. Keep in mind it was the cross country coach herself that made this order, so she must have opted. I remember hearing that the principal got pretty irked about it, but nothing was ever done about it. Those shirts were so popular that year that my friend stayed after work one day to make some extra in the down low and made a couple extra bucks selling them at school. Used to work for a t-shirt printing shop. We were forced to take off the tags that said, made in Cambodia and heat press a label that said, made in user on most of the shirts printed for a very known sports brands. Several times I complained to the supervisor and the managers but nothing was changed. They pretended it was a mistake and few weeks later they were doing the same thing again. After few times of complaining they hired someone who didn't speak a word English to do the job instead and promoted me to another department. Needless to say I quit my job. I have the Tom Sawyer come into my work. He got car decals and vinyl on his car saying he was the Tom Sawyer days champion and a large picture of himself on his car door. Now he wants old sketches of Tom Sawyer on his boat. Dude thinks he is really Tom Sawyer. Like what? A guy came in and had us replicate a printed sweatshirt that got ruined. We kept telling him it will be too expensive to reproduce one sweatshirt with all the screen printing and setup costs. He didn't care as the wife got a judgment in court that he has to replace the ruined sweatshirt. We gave him a break, but it was still very expensive for one sweatshirt. I had to sign a waiver to work on an artist's postcards. This guy literally flew to Wisconsin from La or somewhere else out west to print postcards. Normally runs of under 100 are not done on our large presses, but this guy paid out the ass to personally come in and press check runs of 8. 8 fucking postcards. The presses use something like 100 to 500 sheets just to get up to proper color calibration and this guy wasted every bodder's day by being a major pain in the ass too. So what was on these postcards? Mostly it was some pretty cool photos of industrial things and some weird people including quite a few nudes or NSFW type pictures, mostly the type you don't want to see. The only one that I still remember was the guy shitting. The look on his face would have you believe he was really struggling. Just all around really weird experience and completely blow out of proportion because we could have printed the project on our smaller presses instead of literally using all 5 of our largest sheet fed presses. I used to be a photo lab manager in a big box grocery store. We'd have this one older man, 60 to 70 years old, who'd come in every few months with a disposable camera. Every time it'd be filled with pics of his equally old wife in bondage, naked in a sex swing, what have you. Now because they were both clearly adults and there was never an erect penis or penetration, we always had to print the roll. Every time he'd pick up the pics he'd ask us with a creepy smile, if we looked at them, and if we liked what we saw. I was a custom photographic printer at a pro lab in Austin in the 90s. I printed all manner of weird stuff. However one of my clients was the Attorney General of Texas, now Senator John Cornyn, and I was responsible for printing all the large, 20x30 inch images that they would mount onto foam core and show to the jury during trials. As you can imagine there were some heinous violent crimes that occurred, and the jury needed to see every bit of detail. Probably the worst was a shotgun murder slash suicide. Noting where every part victim or victims landed was apparently super relevant to display. 
hard to go to lunch after a busy morning of printing. My wife was a printer for 20 plus years. A local politician would come in for flyers. He wanted them printed on bright green paper to represent the good of the environment. My wife pointed out the paper was actually one of the worst for the environment and she had a recycled material that was cheaper and good for nature. He told her I don't care about the environment I just want people to think I do. We used to print the newsletter of the local Star Trek fan club. I don't know if it's still like this, but back then each town's chapter of the fan club was its own starship, and all of its members belonged to departments, security, science, engineering, etc. Not dissing the Star Trek fandom here, it was all rather charming. But certainly a bit odd. I worked at Costco just after college, and they put me in the photo department, where you go to get pictures you took with a disposable digital camera. Anyway, we printed a few pictures of genitals, but what really stood out was this series of photos this guy took. They were all close-ups of his happy hole, each one showing progressive growth of what must be the largest hemorrhoid I have ever seen. The final picture in the album wasn't that dissimilar to a slice of meatloaf stuffed with withered tomatoes. We printed them out and stuck them in an envelope as instructed. The customer was this nice old lady coming to retrieve her son's vacation photos. The worst weren't people printing stuff, the worst were the faxes. Lots of mentally ill people wanting to fax long handwritten screeds to the government. I want to fax this to the president. Often written on found material that was not appropriate for faxing. A lady wanting to fax a spare key to her son, who was locked out of the house while she was on vacation. A lot of people seemed to think that fax machines were like Star Trek replicators. The more outdated fax technology became, the more bizarre and unsettling the requests were. The worst thing I think I ever duplicated though were copies for this old, really smelly and obviously mentally ill guy posing in photos with lots of stuffed clothes topped with these creppy, papier mash heads. It basically looked like he had stuffed sets of clothes and posed them like people, as if they were his friends and family. The heads were really badly formed and made it much much worse. These almost people with their uncanny valor lie, deformed heads sprawling lifelessly in a sort of mockery of normal friend and family situations. For really bad stuff, though, you'll want to poll people who worked at photo printing shops. I had a friend who worked at one of those and some of the stories he had were pretty hair raising. <laughs> worked in the printing industry for around 6 years, so I've seen quite a bit. Probably the weirdest and most fun were the pornographic comic books. Some were cartoon or anim style, others were photographs. The most fucked up one was a horror comic starring a murderer who had a dick on his forehead, who was attracted to popular teen makeout points because he could smell the cum or vaginas, can't remember which, of teens who were having sex in their cars. Pretty bizarre stuff. Not in the printing business, but before you could buy cards against humanity, the only way to obtain it was by printing it yourself and cutting it all up to create the cards. I wanted to give it to my brother for Christmas one year, so I downloaded the PDF and went to Staples to print it. For 15 minutes, some poor old Vietnamese man who immigrated here for a better life had to print pieces of paper with such gems as toilet in the butt, two midgets shitting into a bucket, and jerking off into a pool of children's tears for me. All I remember is saying sorry repeatedly. In high school I used to work at a one hour photo place and had a co-worker show me a family picture of everyone around grandma smiling. Keep looking closer and you then notice grandma is sleeping. Finally you notice grandma is dead in an unzipped body bag and the family is taking pictures with her body. Also had an elderly woman bring in 15 rolls of film of Ronald Reagan's funeral except she wasn't there she just took pictures of her TV. Last but not least had a manager that on his days off would troll one of the girls by using the website upload feature to put pictures of Timmy from South Park into the print queue. We used to print for Victoria's Secret. We had to denipple all of the models and had to clone out a cigarette burn on the arm of one of the famous models that she was rumored to have received from her famous hockey player boyfriend. Worked at another company that had to put all the black stars on the naughty bits. Lastly, and probably the most amusing, but not as high profile, we had a knifey motel client come in and asked to have the line no refunds after 15 minutes put on their room rental agreement. 
We all laughed and said, well you better get that stuff done in 10 minutes. When I had a screen printing shop, I had some interesting customers. One semi-regular guy had a small clothing line. Small, as in he thought it was a clothing line, but was really just a couple dozen shirts for him and some friends. He brings in a new design one day, and I open the file. It was an American flag type of thing, except for one minor change. Instead of stars, it was swastikas. Yep, he was pushing for white pride slash white power. I told him no, my grandfather fought the Nazis, I certainly am not going to have anything to do with that. He got all pussy, saying I was stopping his freedom of speech. I told him no, I was exercising mine, by telling him he was shitbag, and it was time for him to go. Another guy came in, to get some t-shirts done for his Native American adult softball team. Design was already done, and the team name was Drunken Engines. His team, and his heritage, not mine. So I printed them. Saw a lot in 6 years at a print shop. Admittedly, most of the material I printed was perfectly normal. I do recall a guy walking in, and asking for pamphlets. We opened the file, to discover it was all hardcore Christian anti-gay pamphlets. Told him to get lost, and he warned me, he would never use our business again. Yeah dude, that's something we agree on. Other than that, the usual. Having to explain to people why we cannot photocopy currency or entire books. As someone else mentioned, people needing a fax machine are generally insane, as a rule. Lots of families still print annual Christmas or New Year's cards that are incredibly cringeworthy. I printed documents and checks for 40 years. Guy named Stanley Hannon ran a discount tire business in Florida. His motto was tires ain't pretty. He had some wild commercials we printed his invoices, and it had his picture on the invoice. He had a front tooth missing and somebody decided to put the tooth in. It got sent out, and they rejected the job, because his tooth was not missing. Had to reprint it. I guess he ain't pretty either. Had an older regular customer come in, and ask if I could copy some risque photos of her for her anniversary. Technically I couldn't, but I did, and inadvertently saw the pictures of her wearing nothing. Another lady ran adult parties for women, and needed name tags printed, but she wanted them to look like a penis. Needless to say, that was the first and last time I will google cartoon penis at work. She asked my manager, if he wanted to model at one of the parties. Many other crazy stories after a year working there but these are the most memorable. I used to work at a big stationery store with an in-house printing service. I was about 17 at the time and a customer asked me to enlarge the card, king of hearts. He was holding large enough and to make a copy, so he would wear it to a party. That's not the weird part, he began talking about the party, and it became clear that it was sexual in nature, and then proceeded to invite me. Ah no thanks. I worked in a print shop in the basement of a condo, and one of the tenants was an artist who would get runs of 50 or so copies done of his designs. His designs consisted of gothic lettered swears, various anatomical words, and the Homer Simpson fish bulb head, Mr. Sparkle, that he would take home, cut up, and then epoxy onto furniture, old dishes, etc. Apparently he used them in a gallery installment, and even sold some pieces. Apparently Vulva written on old mailing labels was his bestseller. 